everyone. I'm Stella from Maple University, and this is Henry. Hey, Stella. Hello, hey, Henry. Everyone. So Henry is back, back again here yes. for a third round of painting. You may or may not have seen our other painting videos, such as Star Wars or Lord of the Rings. Do check them out if you are interested. Yes. This time we are very exciting again expedition. <laughs> so this game is coming out very soon, and this is by Stonemaier Games. And this game comes with five minis. So yeah, you can yeah. see that they're all unpainted. They all come with the play color base. So um, we are going to paint quite generic. So it's not mm -hmm. based on the play color color yeah. because you know you can swap your color and so on. We usually have it pre-sprayed. Well, Henry usually pre-sprayed for me. Yeah, pre normally I me. prepare them all pre-sprayed, but this mm -hmm. is how they will come in your box. They'll come in their generic grey colours. Yes. And we're going to get use that spray paint. Yeah, with this uh, one. This and we're going to spray them all silver. Yeah. So they're going to be nice and shiny and silver. Yeah. And then we're going to, um, because they're quite meant to be quite old machines. Oh, that one. Um, yes. Yeah, they're meant to look like they've been around for a long time. Yeah, the playable. We're going to dirty up the silver and make it look rusty. like they've yep. um, been around for a little bit longer than fresh out the factory. Yes, <laughs> yes. So what method are we using here today, Henry? Yeah, so after the basic spray, we're going to basically just do a wash using the speed paints. Yep. Uh, we're going to thin, thin down the speed paints and we're going to wash them all in like a dark colour. Mm -hmm. This is just going to get into all the crevices, make yep. it look, make all the bigger areas stand out. Yep. That'll make it look pretty good. And then yep. we're just going to go over briefly with some edge called edge highlighting. Yep. We're just going to highlight the very major areas of these miniatures. You're probably not going to do all of them because there are some a fair bit of details in these minis. They are very nice minis. Yeah. But we're just going to give you, show you the basics on how, how to get started yep. with that yep. as yep. well. Yep. Yep. So all the painting video that we've done, we try to focus on the speed painting for you who like to play games more mm -hmm. yes. and then paint less, I guess. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it, it is a fun method. So yes, it's yeah. not like it's, you don't like painting, it's just it's a fun way because mm. painting can take quite a long time. Mm -hmm. It's just another way to enjoy the hobby. Because so, you've been painting yeah. for like how long? Me, yes. I've been painting. Warhammer, yeah. and all that stuff. I painted way back when I was a child and sort of dropped out of it for a while. <laughs> yeah. And now I've just sort of picked up some Warhammers and stuff and gotten back into the hobby. Still, so you were a, a child. Lot more. Yeah, I used to get Warhammers when I was, uh, yeah, 12, oh, 13, 14. It wasn't that long ago that you started. <laughs> <laughs> Young but mature. And I'm uh, sure my paint jobs were beautiful back then too. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay. So what painter are we using? We're going to use the Army Painter, which yeah, is... Yeah, so we're going to use... Oh, you put away um, the box then? <laughs> Some of these, I did put away the box. I've Aww. grabbed probably the colours that I'm yeah. intending to use. It's yeah. going to be this grim black. Yeah. The speed paint medium yeah. video. I think it's good for painting when you had something in plan, but oh can mm. you get um the, the paint box please hand because I'm I'm wearing my track pants so I can't really get up and then get it. <laughs> Are we wearing proper pants. I mean it's proper pants, all right. <laughs> uh this one. So this is the speed paint mega set 2.0. We reviewed yes. this recently mm -hmm. with our Lot of the Rings video as yeah, well. Yeah, we gave so. our very first impressions of that's the, correct, the paints. That's correct, that's correct. We've got straight out of the box and started yes, painting. Yes, so yes, yes, it's amazing. You see a very raw video of yeah. exactly how <laughs> these paints go work. Yep, um, yep, check yep. that out. Checked it out. So <laughs> today is very exciting because it's expeditions, but also we do it from the scratch. And we also today we are going to use this. This is the new one that um, I've received from mm -hmm. Let's Play Games Australia, and this is the wet palette. Yeah, so wet palette is great it, yeah. for. Oh, you want me to talk about it now, or you want? Ah, uh, you can talk about it briefly now. Yeah, you have more so, experience than me. Yeah, so wet palettes used for keeping your paints wet as you paint. Um, they're great for. Um, so when you paint with um, these miniature paints, you want to make sure that you water them down. Yeah. Um, common beginner mistake is not to water down your paints enough. So you, your paint comes on quite thick, mm. doesn't look very smooth. So these will help you avoid doing that issue yep. to a degree. It's also great for experienced painters because it helps keep their paints in the ready to use time for longer. So if they get yep. too wet, they'll, they'll get these sort of get not into the areas that you want. Yeah. And if if you have them not on a wet palette, they'll dry out too fast. Oh, right. And then yep. um, then your paints are unusable. So okay. uh, this just keeps the paints in the sweet spot for a nice long time and keeps you painting rather than messing with um, dropping paints out and that kind of thing. So, so we might omit, might not wear, uh, use this a lot in this particular paint, but we'll yes. be using this. We'll definitely be using paints. this in the future, yes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, 
But what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up all this. We're gonna do the spray paint, let them dry. If we have to do uh, use hair dryer, maybe not. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> and then we'll paint, and then we'll give you some tips and tricks. Talk about other things while we paint, and let's go. Cool. So when you're spraying the miniatures, you want to hold them at about arm's length from you, and. Just to spray, you want to have probably a glove on in one hand just to make sure you don't get your fingers all covered in spray paint. And just spray 360 degrees around the miniature, just trying to get cover up all the grey. It's a little bit hard to see with this silver metallic, but um, yeah, we just spray this in all the directions and it's done. So you just leave that to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and um, you should be ready to paint. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I mean, you can tell only a little bit because the base one the base color is gray yeah, so it's, it's quite like, it's quite similar so yeah. it's a little bit hard to distinguish if i've sprayed yep. it or not so you'll see me hesitating a little bit while i'm spraying these just yeah. to trying to check if i've actually got silver on there or not yeah but then again you'll see once it's done then you can tell that this is this has been sprayed mm. yeah no it looks it looks really nice um it should should come out well i think so to start painting we're going to paint this miniature here and to paint this and get some sort of darkened metal look, we're going to be using a mix of 50-50 of Grim Black and Speed Paint Medium. I might add more medium if we need it, if it's looking a little bit too thick on the miniature, but at the moment it's about 50-50 that I've got mixed up together. And I'm just going to go over this whole miniature in this uh, mix and let that dry. Wow, it's only looking so good! Yeah, look at so that. it's having a nice, kind of a nice effect here. It's yeah. a bit darker and we can yep. brighten this up a little bit when we come to highlighting. Uh, what I wish is that I brought a bigger brush this <laughs> one. Uh, these minis are quite big, uh, bigger than I was expecting them to be. So it's going to be a little bit of a longer process than it needed to be. But yeah, um, yeah it's coming, coming along well. And I think I might just add a little bit more thinner to the paint just to try and keep that yep. silvery colour a little bit brighter on uh, the rest of the miniature. Yeah. All right, let's keep um, let's keep painting. Yep. Okay, so as that process was a little bit on the slow side, Stella's digged out this <laughs> massive brush from her collection. It's Terence's brush. So we are going yes. to see how quickly, <laughs> how, how quickly we can speed this up. Um, yeah. We might have to revert back to the other brush if this doesn't work, mm -hmm. but we will shortly find out. Yeah. The question is, have you played Scythe? Has anyone played Scythe? I have played Scythe. You have played Scythe? Um, I do like it. It's a really nice game. It's as long as you know what it is, I think, going in, um, yeah. which it isn't exactly like a miniature sort of war game. Yeah. It's more like yep, a Euro yep, yep. puzzle. Yep. With, um, a little bit of um, a little bit of battling towards the end of the game that can oh, yeah, sort of sure. swing. Have I played Scythe with you? Oh, we haven't played Scythe together, no. Mm. Um, Probably I shouldn't. You'd be so mean. <laughs> 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 no, no, it's okay. Um, All about games, right? So. Yeah, I've played it a lot, actually, versus the, just the computer mode. Yep. Um, the digital version of the game. Right, right. And I was playing That's against right. the AI. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I got quite good at beating the AI and that. Okay, so, so basically don't play my, with him, My opinion is maybe a little bit skewed based on that too. Maybe okay, it is okay. a bit more interactive with uh, other players at the table. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. That, that is like super speedy, no? Yeah, it's I think it works. speeding up that process yeah. significantly. <laughs> uh, so that's a hot tip for you. Don't use a small brush on a yeah. big miniature. That is, um, also, this does actually a better job in a lot of cases because it yeah. gives better coverage and that little brush and you yeah. won't miss as many little spots here and there. So, that is, that is um, thanks to Taryn's brush. Yeah, well done, Taryn. <laughs> a bit more prepared than I was coming yeah. over today. Yeah. Um, obviously didn't do my, uh, didn't quite judge the scale of these yeah. <laughs> uh, in my head when I yeah, uh, yeah, saw yeah. them. 
Yeah, they are they're quite big, the Macs. <laughs> kind of like similar size as the Scythe one, I guess. Comparing to the little Star Wars one that we did. Oh, yeah, that video, was, that was Star Wars Pandemic. Yeah, that um, was really small. Compared they, to they, were, they were tiny. Um, yeah. We needed the world's smallest brush to get in there. But, yeah. Uh, these are nice and big. Look at that. That's really good. And who's excited for expeditions? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've played, this is not a review video of expeditions. <laughs> so we will, uh, we will release the review video separately on that. So that would be, um, yeah, coming soon. Oh, I hear that you've played the game. So we're not allowed to talk about it. No. But uh, <laughs> I would like to play Field the game times. as well yeah. at some stage. Stella. Maybe, maybe so, this weekend. Yeah. Maybe. People will surely be interested, right? It's not <laughs> a really hard so. game. We'll see how we go. Yeah. So now that this is almost fully dry, uh, we are going to start just distinguishing out these little wood crates coming up the side of the mech. And Stella's decided that we're just going to really focus down on this mech and get this painted up nicely, uh, rather than do the same progress with all the other mechs. But this is exactly what you'd do in all those other mechs. So if we were um, doing it all, we would do the same thing. And this has little wood crates that it's bringing up around the side of the mech. And on top here, so we're just going to paint those white, so then we can go over those with like a nice brown from the yep. speed paint collection and make yeah. them all look like wood. Mm. So I'm just going to go uh, just catch all the wooden bits of it mm -hmm. and we'll leave the straps in this metal colour, I think, just yep. to like uh, show, show it bringing up. Yeah. So we're kind of like doing um, sort so of like still speed, but now that I look at it, oh, it looks so good. And then now, oh, how about yep. that? This said colour this. Yep. Oh, how about that? This looks so good. It's like a rusty, old rusty Mac, which it is. Um, it's not going to be exactly like the board, uh, in the board, but we're going to make it like, I mean, this is a creative, creative, right? We don't, don't have to be exactly the same. Yeah, exactly. And so. Just to like, just to reaffirm exactly what I'm doing. So the reason why I am going over in white rather than just painting the brown straight on top is because yeah. um, the speed paints really like to be on a nice bright colour. Yeah. Um, as, on the base, and um, it's not, they're not going to show, the brown's not really going to show on the black and silver uh, base that we had. So, going over in a nice base color, like this white, and you should definitely always have a white and a black in your collection, just a plain white and a plain black. Handy. Very handy. Yeah. It's, I just can't wait. I <laughs> mean, you all can see it anyway. I mean, you would be able to, know what it looks like if you fast forward. Don't fast forward, it's cheating. <laughs> no, actually, you do whatever you want. But it's at this stage, at this very moment in time, I don't know what it's going to look like at the end. <laughs> so it's very exciting to see. Yeah. I'm stealing my wet palette from behind me. I didn't even notice. <gasps> you didn't? <laughs> oh. Next paint we're going to use is this Shining Silver by Army Painter. This Shining Silver is a metallic paint. It's just like a base paint that you'll get. Uh, so it's not from the speed paint range. Uh, this is great for highlighting or base coating your miniature. Um, but we're going to be using it for some highlighting here mm -hmm. of some of the edges that sort of stick out and maybe some of the larger, flatter mm -hmm. areas that look like they should be a bit brighter. So we're not going to go maybe through every single little dot on here because there are a lot of little uh, divots yeah. um, across the miniature. We'll get some of the major lines and highlight them. So this is going to make the miniature really pop out. Because then again, if you want to speed paint, you basically probably stop before you put yeah, the you probably, wipes. You probably don't even need this step. Yeah. I would, yeah, not even do the wood. I would just probably call it almost done straight away. Mm -hmm. and this on. is something a little bit extra. I, I know that we did say about doing speed paint and such, but yeah. we, we want to... We do show off some techniques. Yeah. So, um, we might as well show a little bit extra if you really want to put... I mean, there are only five minis in this game. That's so true. It's so it's, that not a, it's not a huge undertaking. It's not... Gonna... Correct, correct. And, you know, if you are someone who likes to play a particular game, or if this might be your favorite game, it might not be. And yeah. if it is yours, then, you know, it's and nice to have. A extra love. Yeah, and it's like my Gloomhaven Mini, I've got <laughs> at that time, I had somebody painting it, it, was, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. And yes, before the brute. You, you made a painting. Correct, you yeah. <laughs> to paint it yourself. Uh, <laughs> it was someone else <laughs> for me. 
Yeah. Uh, it was um, also local in Melbourne. And then my terraforming Mars also was painted. The, sorry, my terraforming Mars first player token. Terraforming Mars doesn't have minis. <laughs> it's just the one thing. So painting might as well the, have it. Painting the card. The out. rover, the, uh, the Mars rover. Oh, yes, yes. I have yeah. played with your uh, painted. Uh, oh, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. Ah, so you, you're painting it like in the edges like that to, to make it lighter. Just in this large flat area on the head, just yep. to make it stand out a little bit too, just to two-tone this area. Okay. Does that um, make it like you can see the difference or it's eventually faded yeah, away? Basically, you want to be able to see a bit of difference between okay. the shiny, like, a bit ca catches the light, a bit that doesn't catch the light underneath. Yeah. Um, it doesn't look so natural initially when you first start doing it. That's always asking, um, yeah. It generally adds to the effect, I find. I may not okay. do it all the way around, but just, um, I'm just sort of trialing it here up there on the head here. Yeah, so yeah, how, yeah. How it looks. I mean, obviously, this is definitely optional if you want, you know, you can stop yeah. earlier and you can just like paint it this, the boxes with brown, for example, and that's it. But we kind of like want to. Go more now. So when you are doing these edge highlights too, you just want to hold your brush sideways to catch the um, line sticking out from the model. It's going to make your life a lot easier than trying to paint directly um, along the line. Uh, and this just... Um, great idea. Yeah. Rather than, yeah, it was like... Rather than trying to paint directly along the lines, it's just mm -hmm. um, too prone to errors. Uh, yep. There's definitely painters that can do it. Yep. But, um, I'm probably not one of those painters <laughs> and I would opt to do, I mean, most painters you'll see on YouTube and um, in hobby shops that you'll see that they use this technique, so. Yeah, I literally, next time I play this, I want to use this mech, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's the painted mech. <laughs> yeah, I just want Your the painted mech. Your guests can have the unpainted one. Correct. <laughs> no, oh, no you so, does, you does, it's does, not so you mean. You just hand them the paints and you, <laughs> Tell them to put on YouTube, watch this video, and yeah. paint it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Except if I play with you, yeah. then you'll have this one. Yeah. You'll just save this one hand. Yeah, and then you have to paint your own before yeah. you get it going. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it is fun for people to paint their own things that they go to play with um, in a game, too. So, something that a lot of my Gloomhaven groups and stuff have done is we sent everyone home with their mini before. Oh, um, what? At really? At the end of the mission and, you know, come they back. Have to Everyone's come back when they painted it. Um, but they've like different qualities, and but it's yeah, like it's everyone's fun, style. Though. It's fun. So everyone, yeah. when once you paint a mini, you sort of love it a lot more. And there's one player after our game painting campaign who just refused to retire there. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's too nice. Because it's too nice. So they uh, just they just didn't finish their goal. So they just wanted to be. Um, <laughs> unfortunately for us, level nine the whole time and um, make all of our lives harder. Who weren't <laughs> level nine the whole time, but. Uh, they, they were having a good time killing everything a lot quicker than the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. Well, that is the problem that you get too... I don't know if it's too attached or so attached to your minis, yeah. uh, but this is only yeah, five. Their, their, their mini went for a fair few paint jobs too throughout that oh. time. They just kept repainting it oh. with different <laughs> styles. That's amazing. Um, well, they all painted. A well-loved scoundrel, that one. <laughs> um, Mine was a brute. I think it was a yeah. really cool-looking brute. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm sure I've got the video or social media post somewhere of that Gloomhaven, uh, Gloomhaven character. Yeah, right. Like, wow, look at this. Like, um, and I have a feeling that, I know that we say five, but I have a suspicion that they are going to be expansions with extra minis. Looking at the inside of the box of this game, mm. there are slots for, for those. I was like, ooh, Taran actually spotted that. Like, ooh, there's... I think this is going to be expected. It's going to be two extra minutes. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> is this going to Kickstarter or anything? This game? No, know? no. This no. is uh, no. This is retail release. So okay. people can pre-order it right now, and it is coming soon to everyone's doorstep. Oh, very nice. Thanks, postman. <laughs> Next, we just need to paint up the wooden areas. I'm going to use this satchel brown from Ooh. the speed paints. Very good. So we just give, those. give that a really good shake. And I'm going to put some a little bit of this on our yep. that palette. And this is going to be this white stuff that we've yes, painted. Yes, so these are the white wooden blocks that we've um, painted very in white. And then we're going to put it over it in this brown. Very fancy. This and is looking like so good. We picked um, quite a nice, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we picked quite a dark brown just so it doesn't 
yeah. look out of place on this quite dark. That's minute, true, that's true. We're going to show you... Want, uh, yeah, sorry, go on, Stella. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, yeah, we, do, we just don't want the wood to be the centerpiece of the whole mini. If it's too bright, it's just going to take the eye, sort of everyone's attention. Is that another yeah. tip? Yeah, that is another so tip. just uh, think about uh, what, what your colour choices, I guess, and what you want the people to focus their eye on, and that's the yeah. metallic mini that yeah, we've already yeah, painted. Yeah. So. And it's kind of like the colour palette. I don't know, it just, it just looks good. Yeah. And we're not going to paint the red bit on there, do we? No, we I decided. don't think we're going to do the windows. So, but yeah, the windows, the red windows. It looks like sort of like a fire going on inside of yeah. the engine, like it's been powered by fire inside of the machine, which is pretty cool. But it's um, it's probably a little bit hard to pull off with such tiny small. windows, yeah. and then you want to have like a sort of bright shadow coming out. That's true. Um, something that I, I haven't had a lot of effect. Yeah. Something that... A lot of uh, really good mini paintings can do is have like a uh, when things are fiery or something have that glow effect mm. surrounding it. But it's it's quite an advanced technique. Yeah, um, I've attempted it a few times, but I've never been happy, and I've always gone and yeah. painted back over it. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it's, it's yeah. not as easy as it looks. It's not as a matter of slapping a red paint over it, but mm. because you have to make it as if it's glowing you red. Make it as if it's yeah. glowing. It needs to be really, really bright. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And you need quite a few layers of red, and then to make something look glowy, you need to have it dark, like wow. a dark color surrounding it. Yeah. So uh, it's. Yeah, there's quite a bit to think about in getting a glowy colour to look glowy. There's so uh, many thoughts going into these sort of things, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to also show uh, everyone the comparisons of the one that we've spray paint, just light silver, and the one that we've painted. Into, yeah. So you can see how dark this is compared to the other one. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's pretty simple steps, like all we've done. Um, the edge highlighting I could have spent a lot more time on if I wanted to. Uh, I just did the very like um, obvious lines in there and a couple of the dots. That is probably the most time consuming part. If yeah. you were going to um, spend a lot of time on this, you'd just spend more time doing that, highlighting the edges that you wanted to highlight. Yeah. Uh, this wood step, I wouldn't change anything, and the initial step, I wouldn't change anything. For the initial step, if you only have like a black wash, um, you could use that instead as well. So uh, the wash paints. Yes. We, we use the uh, speed paints because um, we've got a set of speed paints here and we wanted to show off sort of how we could use those yeah. as a wash with the medium. Um, yeah. Wow. So. Look at that, so detailed. And yeah, that's basically is, the last step. Out really nice. Yeah, so um, I really like this nice brown colour. Oh, looks, so do uh, I. It looks, um, looks really nice. Yeah, so that's um, that's basically that's all it. we need to do. Oh like, wow! Uh, let's just get that little get bit, that like yeah, a little bit tiny, tiny mm -hmm. bit. Yep. That's it. That's it. Now, you wow. could, if you wanted to, I mean, there's a little bit of black from our um, painting earlier on the base. So, if you wanted to, you could go over this whole base and a black colour yeah. and um, have it dark. Um, probably what I would do, but there's probably no need to show you that on camera. It's just a matter of painting the base all black. Uh, but yeah, that is our mini. Wow, let's look at, grab the other one. Let's do it sideways a little bit. Yeah, I want me to hold one of them. So yeah, yeah. so here's our unpainted mini. And here is our now painted one. A nice, wow. shiny and let's detail. Down yeah. a little bit, yeah. There you go. So probably it's definitely in person. Uh, motor camera may lose a bit of a color or change a little bit of a color <laughs> in the camera, but in person it's definitely, you can tell that, you mm. know, it's definitely been, had some a rough laugh now. <laughs> rough laugh. Like look at this like rusted and yeah, whatever. Yeah, this yeah. is like just came out of from factory. <laughs> <laughs> Super shiny. Super shiny, brand new Max. And it's just like just been used and then carried. It's, it's really suits the, uh, like if you look at the artwork here, yeah. um, we're trying to match this. So a lot of the uh, Max all look quite similar in the yeah, artwork. Correct. Is this even and darker, but probably because of the Probably even darker, but you don't yeah. want it to be no. a black mini on the table. You want some, some bit of light to it. Correct. Um, 
Um, but yeah, if we look at like the other minis around here, they're all quite a similar effect. So you can do the same technique on just about all of these. Um, the way to yeah. paint the boat, there was a little bit of red and some wooden planks on top, which you would paint the wood the same method that yeah. we just did here. So yep. I would go over the top of this boat uh, in white and then paint that brown on it, just get the wooden plank feel. And just after, I just paint a red directly onto this metallic to get the bottom of the boat, like the picture here. There's a, quite a dark red. That's true. So that's just true. Paint a dark red along there. Yeah, and see the other, the other Max also basically just kind of like gray color mm. with this uh, like a tattoo. Yeah, this Max has a this Max has a tattoo. <laughs> Whatever you yeah. know. But yeah. yeah, that's basically it. Uh, the color. So it's not very hard, and you probably want to get something lighter in here right, at the at the front, like light gray or something it looks feels like light gray i don't know yeah but basically pretty pretty uh a similar color tone for sure so there you go okay. and here we are yeah. i will never play with the other mac now yeah. until the rest is painted, <laughs> until the rest is painted. <gasps> Look which at you would do star i'm sure i'm expecting them all painted if i forget time. i'll just watch this video again yeah, easier course. right yeah, easy. <laughs> i know it's like, like they is a different, this is already painted. Maybe I thought we should have probably left one that's unpainted at all as a comparison, but never, never mind, it's all even better now with the painted spray. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but wow, look at this. I think the Tanka is my favorite one. So it's like, I think the name is the Tanka. The, the, <laughs> the, 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 the <laughs> I did say it, I forgot. Tatanka. It yeah. is Tatanka. Tatanka. Yeah, nice. Tatanka is Got my like favorite. Some buffaloes in front of it. I know. Yeah. I know. So hopefully you all learned a little bit. <laughs> well, I definitely learned something today yeah. and definitely see how it's speed paint and then we're like, oh, actually, we're going to make it look nicer. And it's hard to stop sometimes when you start painting. Yes. You want to add this. I want to keep you adding this. Keep adding, but it already looks great. So yes. you just got to know when to stop. And like, we, this was really simple. Like, we just sprayed it in silver, done. One, you know, a huge brush. Like, look at this brush we used. Nice big it's brush. Not, it's still smaller than my <laughs> brush brush. <laughs> <Face up makeup. laughs> but you can just, you can get yeah. this black uh, on there pretty quickly and have it look pretty nice. Just when it's drying, you want to just tidy up anywhere it's globbed up too much, just to like, just get yeah. the paint off your brush, clean it, and just get a little bit of the globbed up paint back onto your brush. Once it's all dry, just simply go over with the silver. Mm. Um, anywhere where it's a little bit patchy, you can paint some silver on just to smooth it out. And just around the edges, um, trying to highlight them, just to make them stand out from the shadows. Yeah, absolutely. And, and yep. then um, painting white, anything you want to speed paint in mm -hmm. a different color, mm -hmm. and then speed paint it. Sounds too easy. Yeah. Okay, sounds like I can do this. <laughs> Anyone, you can do this. <coughs> if you want to see, you know, maybe the other ones painted, please let us know in the comments. Mm. If there are enough of you commenting that, okay, I want to see the other ones painted, and tell me which one, maybe we will paint it. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Then I'll try to convince Henry here. So <laughs> help me to convince Henry. Yeah, well, by showing all <laughs> Yeah, so we'll, yeah. I'll get you yeah. to paint some of them up still. Like, I, you know, sure. I can just, you know, do another learning lesson. <laughs> and did yeah. back there. I was, like, I was like showing the minis on our previous videos, the yeah. Lot of the Rings one. And I told Ter Terrence, one of these I painted, pick which one. And then Terrence painted the other one. I'm like, oh! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's the most amateur. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, but he's like, he's very diplomatic about it. Like, oh, maybe it just looks a little bit, you know, how lighter or I don't know. I can't remember what he says. <laughs> it sounds like it can be debatable that it's okay. Like he's really yeah. good at that. <laughs> but anyway, Henry, thank you so much for coming and painting no this. Worries. Pleasure, Stella. And you have your own YouTube channel. Let's start playing. Yeah. So people can find you. So just search on YouTube. Let's start playing mm -hmm. and you'll be there and you're also on social media yep uh let's start playing on instagram and uh, facebook so yeah check, yes. us, check me out there yep and let us know as well if you have any you want us to do any particular games minis that you want to paint or like it or hammer or whatever it is mm, yeah. <laughs> henry's face was like that's it anything yeah. that you want to shout out hen um, no, I think that's all. Thank, Thank you. you so much once again, yeah. and hopefully you all have a great time. Do something fun today. Every single like, comments <laughs> will really help us. And see you later. Bye. Thanks. Bye.